and I'm Bombay Lemonade, and today we're gonna show you how to make duck curry dollar rice. Kappa dal. <laughs> today we are doing together, because we love cooking together, a recipe that's been heavily, heavily requested for so long. What is the dish? We are making duck curry. Not curry duck, we're making... <laughs> duck curry, Guyanese <laughs> style, our style. We're gonna do Guyanese style. This is a dish that I grew up eating. My grandmother, all my aunts and uncles knew how much I loved this dish. For they sure. would call me duck moat duck. <laughs> when I was a kid. And I remember my dad and my brother fighting for the neck. Yeah. Oh, that's my favorite piece. Yeah, so we, we have, we have uh, how many ducks are we doing? We're doing one, a four pound duck. One or two ducks? Two duck. Okay, so we have two necks. Two neck, we're gonna fight over it. We're gonna fight, I wanna fight for both. Uh, to get started, we are going to blend up some garlic and yeah. some. Weary, weary, weary pepper. pepper. Exactly. Duck. I love duck because you, whenever t you went to a wedding house, you knew it, duck was being served somewhere, kangandi or a party. It was my favorite. So I got way way pepper in here, our garlic, splash of water. We're just gonna blend that up into a nice paste. While chef cut the Maybe we should add a little bit more water. Water? Yeah, a little bit more water. And let's add the scallion in there too. Dash it in. Why not? Let's give it a nice color in He's there. He's a chef, so he got cut everything. <laughs> I'm just here for comedic purposes. <laughs> a little bit more. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Do we love this? That's looking really good. Beautiful. It's going to fry really well. Duck curry, one of the most quintessential dishes in Guyanese cuisine. One of the most popular dishes brought to Guyana via the East Indians. So there's a lot of history here. We're gonna talk a little bit more about it as we get cooking. The next step that we're gonna do, I give Bombay Lemonade all the fun work, okay? So you're gonna mix the, the curry powders together, the, paste, the spices. The masala paste, I get the tro. We got our turmeric, our dye, our haldi in there. Oh, haldi. Haldi. <laughs> we got curry powder. We got our jeera. And that's unroasted jeera, so it hasn't been parched yet. And the star, garam masala. Garam masala, hot spice blend, cumin, coriander, there's cinnamon, there's fenugreek in there. There's a lot of beautiful, beautiful spices. And do you know where curry powder was invented? No, I don't. Curry powder was invented by the British in the 1700s. It makes mm. cooking this type of food mm -hmm. and curries more accessible. That's so true. that's where it came from. And then now. Fun fact. Our paste, right in there. And gamma mix. <laughs> <laughs> How much weary weary peppers in there? Uh, five. Oh good, and we're gonna, we, we can, we can, can throw more. It. it depends who's eating, right? We can always throw more. While you're doing that, I can chop up some onion. You got it. We're gonna save some onion for the dal as well, because we're gonna be showing you how dal. we make dal. Duck and dal. So I'm gonna cut this. And this is all gonna melt. I mean, we could blend this up if we wanted to, but it's, gonna it's, melt in there. it's all gonna melt. So we have our onions here. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna turn this thing on. Fire! This thing hot, buddy. Yeah, I'm fire. <laughs> here we have a karahi or a karai or a karai. There's all, all these different names for it, but you know, we, we know it as karahi. And that's what we're gonna say. It's very similar to a wok. And you see it has two handles here. This is gonna get hot to the point where I can't grab it. Exactly. So I'll touch it now while I can. Soon I won't be able to. We're gonna add in some oil. And we're gonna to wanna to get this nice and hot. This is vegetable oil. We're not using olive oil. Not only is it not traditional, but olive oil, there's really delicate properties in there. If we heat it up and it gets past a certain smoking point, then uh, it has a low smoking point. Yeah. It's gonna become bitter. We're gonna damage all those beautiful characteristics. You know, so we have our onion. Also, we can just take a piece of onion to test the how test. hot it is. And it's not there not yet. yet. I love these, the round bottom ones. Oh, scrap. <laughs> Find the wrong bottom, it collects the sorwa, the gravy really nicely when you're making the duck. And that's something else that we should be talking about too, right? Because when you're when, when we're cooking this bunjil style, yeah. you know, we're going to bunjil this right now, but when we cook it bunje style. Get dry down? Yeah. Is that what we want to do today? Bunjil. Go, yeah, I like a sure. little bit sorwa. You though. like sorwa? Okay, yeah, so yeah. we'll do a little sorwa. We'll All do right, like good. a healthy medium. Okay, we'll meet halfway. We'll meet halfway. Life, it's all about uh, meeting halfway. Karahi's nice and hot. We can hear it kind of sizzling, bubbling away. We're gonna take our onion, add the onion in first. Scoop it in there. 
Okay? Boom. Boom things. Aisle hot, so be careful, eh? Aisle is hot. <laughs> We're gonna add in cinnamon stick as well. That I love goes right into the mix. I'm also gonna add in some salt. It's gonna do two different things, okay? One thing that this is gonna do, it's gonna start bringing out some moisture. They're cutting, they're cutting something down around. <laughs> <Look. laughs> so it's gonna bring out some moisture, but it's also gonna help us like start layering the flavor right from the beginning. So we start with a little bit, move this around. And then you can come in with our mixture. Our masala. Right in there. Scrape oh, out man. Al. And make sure it doesn't pitch on you because it will burn. Make sure you get Al. That's my favorite tool. Silicone spatula. Silicone? Favorite, it gets everything. favorite, favorite tool in the kitchen. I always say that. Yes. A little bit for good luck. Yes. <laughs> All right. Smells like duck, right? That's a beautiful color. I would say it's liquid gold, but it's peace, peace gold. <laughs> so why are we doing this step, Mr. Balmy Lemonade? This is, this guy always asks hard questions. <laughs> this, um, well, all the seasoning, the raw seasonings, we're gonna, how I would know it, as patch it dung, but we're gonna cook them out, the raw flavors. Exactly, so we have a bunch of raw flavors in there, exactly what Mumbai Lemonade said. We want to make sure that these things are not super, super raw before we add our duck. This gives us a chance to intensify the flavor. Really bring out the most of these ingredients. You can smell it. It smells. It smells right. It smells. It <laughs> smells like. A, it smells like a nice body yeah. spray already. <laughs> Bro, what happens if this burns? You gotta start again. If you burn this, you gotta start over. So don't burn it. Turn. Keep an eye on it. Our heat's at a good temperature. And that cinnamon stick, I can smell. smell it, yeah. You can smell the jeera, curry powder, garam masala, the garlic. It smells delicious. It smells delicious. I like putting cinnamon in my curry too, because I find it it, give, it helps bring out. A lot of curry powders do have cinnamon in them, and it brings out their natural flavor. It's earthy. And it gives it a little bit of sweetness. Not a lot of people do it, but it's definitely something you got to try. And cinnamon is a common ingredient with duck. If you're doing yeah. duck confit or if you're doing some type of application with like a compote or a berry sauce, you'll typically add cinnamon mm. because it's very earthy, a little bit floral. It goes well with that gamey nature of the duck. There we go. So you scrape down the sides. It's like music. I'm gonna get you. You want me to... done? Yeah, I want to, not only, yeah, you do that. You do that for sure. On the ground, what it teach me. So if it ever starts getting a little bit dry, we can add in some water. We also have some garlic and some worry worry pepper still left in this. So I'm just gonna pour that in. And this will help prevent the burning. If you find that it's getting too dry and it's going too fast, just reduce the heat. Another tip is just to remove this from the burner as well. If you find that it's getting too hot, but we have a nice right. temperature this here. Is perfect. Yeah. yeah, this is looking excellent. If you're making this in your house, make sure you close out your bedroom door. Because <laughs> your clothes will smell like her. Yeah. <laughs> Not that it's a bad smell, but. Looking good. It's beautiful. Better. And I find if it does catch a little bit, it's okay. Because you can always scrape that. And when you do add your duck, the water from the duck helps pick up all the uh, little tiny burnt bits at the bottom. It's already smelling amazing. This is the beginning of this process. We also want to make some dal for you, which we'll get going very, very soon. But we just want to make sure that we spend about 10 minutes, medium heat, low medium heat, and we cook out that rawness. This is what, chunky? Bunje. Bunje. So what's the chunky? Oh, chunky is with the dal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should know this stuff. That's a good put that, put that in there. <laughs> Here we have our duck ready to cook. This is two drakes you picked up? Two drakes. Beautiful. So that is a type, a breed of duck. We are going to bunje this now. We're going to add it into this mixture. We can smell that curry powder, that jeera, that garam masala. Delicious. It's getting a really nice aromatic smell. Yes, so with this duck that's been broken down, it's into really nice pieces, two to three inch pieces. And we're gonna add this in now. This has been washed in vinegar and lime, yes, and then sir. it's been rinsed, okay? So this is gonna go in. Yummy. 
start turning now? Yeah. All right. And now we're just gonna coat the duck in our beautiful masala mixture. I mean, this is very exciting. This is one of our favorite dishes, one of our childhood favorite dishes. It's been requested so many times. Chef Dev, Bombay. Do a duck. Do a duck. <laughs> Cook a duck. A duck. A duck. <laughs> What the duck? So, <laughs> and we're outside cooking, I mean, back home in Guyana or wherever you are, if you have an open fire and you can do fireside style cooking, that's the best. But this is what we're doing today. It's just really nice to be outside in it the is. nature and cooking, right? Yep. It's a beautiful thing. It makes the food taste better. And we really want to showcase Guyanese cuisine, West Indian cuisine. It's really important. We're both from Toronto. I know you travel to the States a lot and beyond. Mm -hmm. I travel all over the place all the time and I'm always going to be promoting Guyanese cuisine because it's my cuisine. It's the cuisine that I was raised into. It's what my parents taught me and what my parents' parents taught them. And um, gets me emotional. Culture, yeah. Gets me a little emotional. This is looking mental. It looks beautiful. One thing about duck. When I was younger, it was always a thing like if you went to a party, you know there's going to be duck. It was one of those special occasion things. But then as you got older, like, I'm old enough to buy duck and cook it now, so I buy it all the time when I cook it. And you never get tired of it. So Bombay did an amazing job here of coating this. If we take a look, we can see that every piece of duck is now covered. You see the onions and our masalas are all over the place. It's looking delicious. What we're going to do is now cover this. This duck is going to let out quite a bit of water. And in Guyana, they'll refer to that water as... Rankwata. Rankwata, right? So. <laughs> The rank water that comes out of the duck is a flavor that is, quite frankly, rank. Rank, yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to cover this up, and we're going to let that water come out, and we're going to cook that right down and evaporate it, and then we'll throw back water. Exactly. I think, should we throw some aloo in here too? Yes, yeah. always aloo. So we're going to chip, <laughs> chip up a potato and get it in there pretty soon as well. It's been about 10 minutes since we added our duck and gave it its initial stir. You can see it has released that, what we call the rank water. It sprung its own water, so it's gonna boil down. I'm just gonna give it a little turn, make sure nothing's catching, just make sure everything's going okay in here. And it looks beautiful. It's not too much water and it is boiling down. Once that water comes to a, uh, I guess once it gets dry, we can then go ahead and add some more water and then let our duck cook in the boiling water. How does that look, chef? Man, mouth watering. Delicious. We can go right into dal. Yep. So we have a pot of boiling water here. We're gonna be making dal, dal and rice, but we're doing rice in the rice cooker. Aside from rice, like what would someone typically eat Guyanese dal curry with? You could do paratha roti or like you said, dal puri, but I love dak dal, dak dal and rice. Classic. <laughs> Match made in heaven. Classic pairing. So into boiling water, we're gonna add some dal that's been soaked. See the thing swell up a little bit, right? Yeah, it swell. So this is gonna go in. Boom. To make this version of dal easier, we're gonna get a lot of the ingredients just into the pot to boil, and then we're going to chunk it later and stuff Perfect. like that, so let's go. We got our garam masala in there. We got our curry powder right in there, boom. And a little bit of turmeric. This one, Averjam. You can go Averjam. <laughs> Don't worry, description box will have all the uh, measurements. Wiri Wiri peppers, my favorite peppers. So floral, so fruity, so delicious. We're gonna add two in. I'm also gonna add in some onion and some garlic. Bombay, you can add some uh, some salt to this. I'm gonna salt like Chef Dev, just so much. From high, <laughs> a little bit more. You gotta show good salt a, a start. We salt from a height to disperse, disperse okay? Yeah. That's how I salt at home now, because of this guy. <laughs> So this is already coming to a boil. We want to boil this for probably a good 30 minutes, 40 minutes. And then uh, we're going to introduce the dal gutney. Yes, sir. And we're going to show you how Slam. we grind this dal. And then we're going to chunke. All very exciting. The backyard smells amazing. This guy's cutting trees now. <laughs> no duck for him. No duck. <laughs> That's a beautiful color. Oh, yeah. Measure with your heart. Here we have our dal, our split yellow pea. Bombay giving them a nice stir. It's amazing to be cooking this with you, bro, because it smells it. like, like my childhood. Yeah. It smells like childhood. It smells like family barbecue. It smells, it smells like Guyana like, picnic. Yeah. <laughs> all these different it things. Like Saturday. Here we have our duck. We can see all this rank watas coming out. This we want to reduce. Also, very important thing I learned as a kid, I know you know it too. We're going to scrape the sides of the pot 
That's where all that flavor is. See on that spoon, that deep, dark, caramelized yeah. brown? Get that all back Chuck in. Chuck them back. Turn over the duck, and we don't want to handle the duck too much. We don't want to toss it too much yeah. because it's really going to damage it, mm -hmm. and we're going to break up all those bones. One thing I'm going to do too right now is I'm just going to take the lid off so we can let that water, water evaporate. evaporate. Yeah. My mom calls it when you turn it, turn it too much, soji. Now soji your food. So let it, let it be, you know? <laughs> it looks so wow. good. Raw, I could eat it. <laughs> you gotta wait a little bit more. Oh, you can cover the doll box now. Duck and doll, duck and doll. So here we have our duck curry. It's been about 30, 40 minutes or so. Really important that I show everybody watching. You can see that all the liquid is gone now. And you can just see the bottom of the karahi here. Clean. Clean. So this, now we know, is ready to add the water. But before we do that, Bombay, you're gonna add some chipped aloo, which is chipped optional. Aloo. Duck and potato. If we add this earlier, like when we're cooking this down, then what's gonna happen? Too mushy. Too mushy. So our potato goes in now. I have Guyana thyme, so this is from my cousin Natasha in Mahaika. So she dried Natasha. out a bunch for me. And just like fenugreek, kasuri methi, one really great way to get the flavor out is just to rub it between your hands and release. Beautiful. Oh, that smells, that smells really good. My hands are clean. <laughs> and release all that flavor into it. I think now what we want to do is we're going to add, add in some, some water. water. And you had a tip, right? A tip, yeah. Just for a new cooking, you want it to look aesthetically pleasing. Turn your spoon backwards and throw on top like this. It looks like a waterfall. Yeah. Kaichur. And we're adding, <laughs> <laughs> we're adding water to just cover, cover the, meat. the meat. Yeah. Let's see how much more we got to do. Ah, we need some more. It's a lot of duck. More. A lot of duck, man. It's not going to last. Yeah. It'll be gone. Good. So one thing we're gonna do here is, now take advantage of this water, scrape down the sides of the pot, get all that flavor. Uh, Bame, if we wanted to cook this thing right down, mm -hmm. then we would be bunjang it, right? Correct. But I think we both want some gravy. We want some sirwa, some, we want gravy. some gravy. So scrape the sides, make sure, this is looking insane. That looks beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna mix everything up here. Now to get this thing back up to temperature, although we used boiling water, I'm just gonna throw a lid back on, okay? Perfect. We're not just saying it looks beautiful because we're making it. It actually looks very beautiful. <laughs> Feeling very, pretty bad. Feel very proud right now. <laughs> very proud. Boom. Okay, so dal has been cooking for about 30 minutes now, just on the spatula. You can see how it completely breaks down in my fingers. So we need to blend this now. We need to puree it. There's a couple ways that we can do it. Yes, sir. I'm doing the dal gutney, our swizzle stick. Traditional, right in there. Boom. Now, this is a very effective way of performing this process. But as a chef, and as someone, uh, you know, who likes to do things that are very efficient, <laughs> I'm going to be using a hand blender. This guy just dissed the gutney. <laughs> In the comments, let us know how you feel about this. But I find this to be a very, uh, a very efficient way of doing this. So in, I can just take this off the heat now, and now we can blend up our dog. You definitely get a silkier texture when you use the blender. I, I feel like the chef in me wants to use that, okay? <laughs> and now we're gonna look at our duck. Here we go. Boom. Beauty. The water is, it is um, coming down nicely. We do want some liquid there, but uh, this duck still has to cook, so it's gonna bubble away there. Beautiful color. You can still continue to clean off the sides for all the flavor. What the duck? <laughs> it's now time to chunk the dal. Chunk the dal. So my mom's got a beautiful ladle for this. I just rested here to get this nice and hot. I'm gonna add in the Cuban seeds and I wanna see them sizzle up right away, just like oh, that. Yeah. We're gonna add in a good amount of garlic and get this all nice and fried. We don't want anything to burn at this step. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a shake and this is gonna add an incredible amount of flavor and depth. Yes. This is really a critical step when making dal. dal. You have to do this with your dal. Question, chef. Is this called tempering? Yes, we are tempering. Woo! Yeah. I got one! <laughs> so we are tempering the garlic yeah. and the jeera, the cumin seeds. See how the garlic is just starting it's to get a little nice, bit golden yeah. brown? We cut it thin, good fella style garlic with a chips. knife, okay? So what we're gonna do here is, I'm gonna get you to put the dal back on. Go. And look, we see nothing is burnt here. 
And then this is now the chunk cake. Woo! And we have nice golden brown jira. You see those golden brown pieces of dal. Uh, you can do the honors of adding in some bhaji, some or I'll nice add that in. And I'll give it a stir. This is frozen bhaji, frozen fresh, spinach. And this is the last step. I don't want to cook it. I want it to be nice and green. So we can add this in now with the residual heat of our dal. You can give that a nice mix. Beautiful. I love bhaji. And then let's show everybody how that pours out you of the ladle. Pour, here we go. Let's go, let's go. Let me pour it this way. Yeah, Come. Exactly. Oh man. Bro, that looks amazing. And you have to put your hand like this on your hip when you do <laughs> That's beautiful. That's stunning doll, bro. Let's do one more. Come, come. I'm going to heat this up too. This is lame. We're going to taste that too. Now, why swim in this? Go for a nice swim. Now it's time to. Taste the doll. Test. Beautiful spinach, garlic, Gorgeous. crispy chips on top, and then the golden brown it's really jira. Pretty. It looks so yeah, good. from that chunking step. I'm also gonna take two wary wary, and you can burst these in the doll. You can burst five in them and serve them to somebody yeah. that you don't really like. <laughs> you know, <laughs> take it in your own plate and burst it when you eat it. There you go. If I was at home, I would taste it like this, but we're on camera, so I'm gonna use this. So let's see. Let's see. How <laughs> it looks beautiful, man. It's, it's stunning. Dip from a bottom. <laughs> yeah. Good call. I wanna swim in this. Man, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Perfect salt. That's Amazing. beautiful. So tasty. Now we're just waiting for the duck curry to cook down. Rice is in the rice cooker. We're going to be assembling real soon. Let's take another look. I think we can take the lid off now. Let that. Let that soar our gravy come to the consistency that we want. Yo, that doll's fire. It's really good. You can see the potatoes here. They're, they look like they're almost cooked. Yeah, they're, so don't they're, they're getting turn close. too much. Yeah. Don't sauge it. <laughs> don't mash it down. But yeah, this should be done in a few. Nice. So our doll is ready. It's now waiting for us, steaming away. Now we're gonna do a taste test. This is the time you wanna test for salt and whatnot. I'm gonna do it Guyanese style, how we do it at home. Take your spoon right in your palm, lick. How's that Chate, taste? That's delicious. Perfect salt. Oh my gosh, you need to try that. Unreal, eh? And check it out. Look how thick our gravy is. So the potato helped thicken that up. The yes, natural sir. reduction helped thicken that up. And that's a beautiful gravy. We're about five, 10 minutes out? Yes. And then we can lash. Then we can lash. This is exciting. With some rice. <laughs> gravy is at the perfect consistency. It's been about 75 minutes. And you see how the duck just bursts effortlessly. Just put my finger there and you can see how it breaks apart really well. It's time to plate time up. Time to eat. Time to lash by. Sani with your hand. Eat your hands. It's time our duck and doll are ready to eat. So we have our rice here cooked in the rice cooker. Sometimes I like to use brown rice, but today we went with the classic. And I know you don't eat a lot of rice. Clearly, but <laughs> but you you will today. Me's not a rice man. So rice goes down, nice fluffy, long grain. Make a Maybe nice little bed, and we're gonna come over here with our duck. This thing looks unbelievable. Wow. I know you like the neck, so I'm gonna make nice sure I get neck. a piece of that for you. Nice okay. piece of aloo, nice Perfect. piece of bone. Watch. Get your friend who will make you your plate. Oh, that's oh, the neck. <laughs> that's the neck, and look at the gravy, the sorwa here. Yeah, really sorwa. nice consistency, but we gotta throw a little more. Oh Let's man, swim. this is looking unreal. Mm. Make sure to get some nice meaty pieces for you. And then from here, what we could do is we could put a little bit of dal on top, yeah, but I'm yeah. just gonna kiss it with a little bit, just like this. Gorgeous. A little bit of dal, and I'll make sure you get- Give me a pepper. A weary, weary pepper. And what I would do is I would serve a little bit of dal on the side, because I'm a cup of dal guy. That's so sweet. I'm gonna give this to you. Shukriya. Shukriya. Meherbani. And then I'm gonna take some dal and place this in a cup because man, a Sip. cup of dal a day keeps the, the doctor, doctor away. away. Okay, nice cup of dal. And here is the finished dish. If you guys can see the action that's here. Beautiful. Looking amazing. We need a little bit more gravy there. It's by hand heavy. A little bit more gravy, yeah. I like the gravy, bro. Doc Dana rice, match made in heaven. Yeah, let's get another piece there. Yeah. <laughs> Time for sani with your hand. You gotta eat this with your hands. <laughs> so here you have our finished dish. 
Bombay Lemonade, and I took time out of our day to share this with you. This whole karahi we're gonna lash now. We have our Drake Duck Curry. We didn't bunje it. We like a lot of sorwa. We the like a gravy. lot of gravy. Nice pieces of aloo. Nice big wary wary pepper. We have a cup of dal. Dal, dal in, the, in the bowl. Got some nice white rice, and now it's time to lash. That's all you need in life, guys. Duck dal and rice. Gotta get you a fork. Yes, please. I'll use my hand. <laughs> if I was at home, I'd eat this with my hand. It's that time to taste our hard work. I got a neck. That's the guy you with your hand. So much flavor. Really happy how this turned out. Beautiful. It's nice and soft. The masala paste is seared on there beautifully. Meat falling apart. It's it's not because we made it, but it is one of the best ducks I have ever had. Peppa. Very, very pepper challenge. Let's do it. <laughs> I have one right here. Guys, as a bonus for you, with Delvin Adams in Guyana, Chef Dev Taste Guyana, we did the Weary Ray Pepper Challenge. We didn't plan to do this till now, but this we're gonna do this now for you. Spur of the moment. The Weary Ray Pepper Challenge. I'm Bombay Lemon. Cheers. Today. Cheers. Okay, yeah. Not bad. Not bad for now. <laughs> as a seed. Look at all this part. Oh yeah, I swallowed them. Yeah, yeah. Not as, not as hot as I thought it would be. My the lips. heat is like a seven and a half, eight out of ten. I have hiccups though. Still very <laughs> fruity. Nice sweet note. It has a nice flavor. Citrusy. Uh. <laughs> I think I eat a lot more pepper than this guy, but very flavorful. I have hiccups from it. And that is the worry worry pepper challenge. We hope you enjoyed this video. Duck curry, doll and rice, bombay I lemonade. Water. Thank you, Chef Dev. And uh, oh don't forget, God. a cup of dal. <laughs> Cheers. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be.